In a season unlike any other, the St. Peter's Peacocks and Ryder Bronks each continue to build on the foundations of young talent, getting significant opportunity early in their career. The Bronx look to break into the win column for the first time in league play, while the Peacocks look to break a five-game losing streak this afternoon on ESPN+. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Alumni Gymnasium. Alongside Phyllis Mangina, I'm John Moses. As we take a look at our Hercules Tires strong players to watch this afternoon, the Peacocks feature one of the league's most gifted scorers in Ty Thornton. John, one of the top guards in the league. She can score at all three levels, but it's her floater at the rim that's so hard to guard. And you think about it, she's seventh in scoring in the league. She's fifth in assists. She's fourth in steals. I, I think today, key to, the, key to the program for sure, but key to the game today. And really the key matchup that we're going to keep an eye on today is how often Maya Hyacinth, one of the league's best young defenders, plays against Thornton. I've been looking forward to that because, I mean, Hyacinth has shown that she can guard anybody on the ball. But, you know, what I like about her game so far, she's starting to emerge as an offensive player. So she's a threat at the other end. She's had some big games for Ryder. She can hit the three. She's got an explosive first step. Uh, and, and I think Ryder's going to need her to score today to come out with a W. Hercules Tires wants you to drive safely on a free set of tires. To enter, just follow Hercules Tires on Instagram. Take a selfie with your tires and post it with the hashtag drive safe with Hercules for your chance to win. Hercules Tires ride on our strength. Great start to league play for the Peacocks. They won their first four, sweeping Canisius and Iona. The first time that St. Peter started 4-0 in the league since the 96-97 campaign, the year they went undefeated during the regular season in league play. That's a that's a long time, but um, I, I think when you watch this team play, they're a much improved program over the last you know two years from last year, and you know significant because I think as you win games, you start to gain confidence, and you you know even though you're paying attention to the coach, you talk to coach uh, coach to Mark Mitchell, and you know he loves this team. He says they're they're willing to be coached hard, uh, and that's showing in their improvement. Peacocks in the road blues today. Bronx once again in the alternate grays. Pastor Torres, Zoe Robbins, and Michael Van Gelder Jr. Our officiating crew this afternoon. And we are underway with the Bronx controlling the opening tap in the hands of Deja Moses. Bronx once again with this bigger starting lineup of Moses, Toussaint, and Toomey together across that front line. And, and I think that's really to combat the rebounding prowess of St. Peter's. They are all over the glass, over 17 offensive boards a game. And that's pretty scary when you're going against that. Nice finish inside from Victoria Toomey, sophomore from Dunmore, Pennsylvania. You know, it's interesting. We talk about St. Peter's rebounding the ball, but the key for them is how they play defensively, right? They're up in you. They, they're very physical. Uh, and there's going to be opportunities because they body up so much to get to the rim, but that means a lot of one-on-one -on -one play, and that's not Ryder style. That's Kendrea Williams on the baseline. As you see the starting lineup for the Peacocks, same five they've run with all season long. Great find in transition. Maya Hyacinth with the left-hand finish. You no, know, the, the Ryder Bronx today, they have to rebound the ball, and I think they have to get out and get some of those transition hoops, easier buckets so they're not struggling and their last two games, even though they lost, they're up in the 60s, which is where Coach Milligan wants them. Thornton traveled, part of that starting lineup presented by B&E Sportswear. Need t-shirts for your organization, team, or upcoming event? Call B&E Sportswear or visit bandesportswear.com for a free quote today. Toomey for three. That's off the mark, rebounded by Asia James. It is a veteran guard group for St. Peter's. And young up front, James and Castro. The long two is good from Asia James, forward from Stafford, Virginia. Yeah, these two young forwards, I, I've been impressed with their play. I mean, you think about it. You're coming in from high school. You're probably the best player, not just on your team, maybe in your whole conference. And and you're expected to come out and play college basketball. So it's a learning curve every single night. But the one thing I like about these two, they rebound the ball, and they go after it every possession. Andrea Williams has the miss from Deja Moses. Williams, a sharpshooter from three-point range, a redshirt senior. She lets fly from deep, and that's good. 
And that's a good sign for St. Peter's because they have not been shooting the ball well over their last four games. And to get her going early uh, just gives everybody else confidence. Mobley settles it. Junior point guard from the Pittsburgh area using a Toomey screen. This is Toussaint. That's for three. And a rebound by Binta Salawu. Thornton, the runner, oh, is good. Love the floater. And, and you have to keep her in front of you. Even if you're playing zone, you have to stop penetration uh, at the three-point line. Mobley in some trouble here in the backcourt. And that's a 10-second violation. That's terrific pressure by the Peacocks. And, and Mobley, you know, Amanda Mobley is going to see that all day long. And I like that first couple of possessions. She just went right by and didn't play with the ball in the backcourt. And I think she's got to go north-south all day long. For the first time, first year, Michaela Firebaugh is on for Ryder in place of Maya Hyacinth. Thornton lost it on the drive. Again, we could count on, uh, what, two hands maybe for two years, how often we've seen Ryder play zone, but they're trying to force St. Peter's to shoot the basketball outside a bit here. Fireball had it denied at the rim. What a play by oh. Asia James. Love the block and keeping it in play so you can get up and run. Salwu, quick move to the goal, can't finish. Toussaint has her miss. Mobley is fouled from behind. Been, been a little bit of a problem, I think, for St. Peter's over the course of the last couple of games is fouling the ball and fouling a lot and getting people on the free throw line. So they're going to have to, and sometimes that negates your hustle, right? You're fouling and you're playing good D. It just negates all the defensive pressure you're putting on. That's Deja Moses for three, left wide open off the inbound. Some points being put on the board, and I love the pace of play getting up and down the floor. We know that Ryder wants that pace, and for sure St. Peter's wants to get up and down the floor, so this could be a fun game today. Thornton gets inside. Nice find for Castro, who couldn't finish. Yeah, Thornton's unselfish around the rim, so if you're a big here and these young players have to be ready to catch the ball and finish layups. Moses steps back for three. It went in off the shot clock. Yeah, Deja was begging for that one. She's like, can I have that? But, you know, Deja Moses has shot the ball better this year. Uh, and I think what I like is that she's scoring within the offense, within good shot selection, uh, and that's been key. Deja Moses coming off a nice weekend at Siena where the Bronx were swept up in Loudonville. Nearly a double-double in game one. That's James inside, compliments oh. of Sky Castro. That's a nice combination for the two freshmen. They dump it in for Toomey. Rebound once again by Castro. Boy, you can't say enough about Castro and James on the glass, both in the top 11 in the league in rebounds per game. That's Kendrea Williams oh. for three. Oh, she's on fire to start the game. Uh, and again, streaky scorer, but she can, you know, she was up over 45% last year shooting from three. Uh, right around 42 right now, but looks like she's got it going today. The Riders got to know where she is on the court. Eight points for Williams here in the first quarter. Excellent execution. That is Toomey inside. Man, they got, they got Ken, Kendrea Williams playing Deja Moses. Might want to think about posting her up, get her on the block. That is a travel against Salawu. And there is a timeout on the floor. Quick pace to start this one. It is St. Peter's by five. 